Zer is back. He's in the Winding Cove on the EDZ. He brings the exotic fusion rifle, the Telesto. For the Hunter, he brings the Aeon Swift Gauntlets. For the Titan, he brings the Lion Rampant Leg Armor. And for the Warlocks, the Ophidian Aspect Gauntlets. It's Friday and it's Trials of Osiris. Um, the map is Distance Chore. For three wins, you get the Summoner Auto Rifle. For five wins, you get Tomorrow's Answer Rocket Launcher. For seven wins, you get the Helmet. And for going flawless, you get the class item. Next week, a hot fix will be released. There are a couple of Nightfall Ordeal fixes. All Ordeal tiers for the Lake of Shadow Strike will now be accessible if you own Forsaken. And they fixed the Festering Core Master Nightfall bug, where enemies were at 750 power instead of 1080. XP, Glimmer, and having chances to earn exotic engrams or bright engrams are now back to a weekly lockout. They also fixed an issue where players couldn't get the means to an end quest from the Prismatic Recasters. They also fixed an issue where a ruinous effigy could trigger the heal from the Stronghold Titan exotic armor while blocking with carrying the object. They also fixed an issue where Umbro stat focused engrams could provide less than 10 in a selected stat. Next week, they will give us more details on the upcoming Solstice event. Iron Banner returns next week. If you haven't finished the quest for the Legendary Sidearm, the Fool's Remedy, or the Auto Rifle Forward Path, you will be able to complete it this upcoming week. There will be no new weapons to be obtained. Next week, the weekly flashpoint will be on Io, and Lake of Shadows will be the ordeal, Nightfall Strike. Next week will be a very quiet week for us PvE players, but if you like the Iron Banner, I guess you'll have a fun week. Thank you for watching my Destiny video.